Okay, folks, we're coming down to it. Uh, end of week 13, and we're putting together cover letters and pulling uh, organizational backgrounds and just pulling everything together uh, into a solid draft of our document. Um, if you've been sticking with the classwork, doing things a little bit at a time, hitting your intermediate deadlines, you're not going to have a big rush at the end because you will have done all the writing already. It'll be a matter of uh, putting everything together in order into a professional package, um, doing some reading and some editing and things like that, but everything should fall into place. So um, as you get all that stuff done and in, um, ask questions, uh, communicate with me regularly. Uh, like I said, everybody I've been in touch with regularly um, has seem to me like they're on pace and doing well a couple of people are straggling if you're having trouble let me know can't help you if um, I don't know that their problems there but um, I've seen a lot of good work getting a lot of good questions um, some things to keep in mind the next week we're putting it together um, I want to get it done early so you can give each other good readings and good thorough um, critiques um, and a lot of it at this point is just does it just make sense you know, if we ask for $10,000 in the cover letter, is the budget for $10,000? Um, you know, uh, and there should be a nice flow. We have a need or a problem. You know, uh, homelessness in Corpus Christi, uh, pet overpopulation, um, hungry children. So we have a need that we identified, we've proved it existed. Goals are general ideas to address those problems. Objectives are very specific, measurable things. We're gonna we're gonna reduce we're, uh, uh, hunger amongst children by distributing three thousand more backpacks through an already existing school program. So this is the need. These are the objectives, and then the objectives should be very clearly reflected in the budget. The money for the backpacks are there in the grant. The budget's there in the grant. Those are going to be part of the objectives, and, and meeting those objectives will address the need we've identified. Um, pretty straightforward stuff, uh, but a system of thinking that we may or may not be familiar with uh, before this course. So um, look for those things. Um, it just needs to flow. It should sound uh, written to an intelligent eighth grader. Not a lot of big words. And I'm not saying unintelligent people, but... Uh, people who are um, intelligent um, but doesn't have a lot of fancy uh, vocabulary and things like that as well. Something that could, your average person uh, could read and make sense of as well. Um, I'm really pretty excited. Um, I was a little bit nervous about teaching this course online for the first time because uh, I've taught this class many times before, but this is the first time doing it online. Um, and really, it's been a delight working with you folks. And I look forward to seeing what you come up with this week and all the way through the completed grant package. Two more things, very important. I, I'm going to wave this. I'm sure I've told you this multiple times before, but I still keep on getting questions. So you never, ever, 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 nunca, nada, nunca, nada, never um, submit grants yourself. The person at your agency is going to submit those grants number one. Um, and number two, there is an evaluation form that you have to have uh, that your contact person will uh, will need to have and sign. And I'll send that out to you uh, as part of the week 14 uh, learning module. Okay. Thanks for your time. If you have any questions, let me help. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye now.